Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. Let us discuss one question of working capital calculation where we have a new concept of margin of safety. What is margin of safety? Working capital is estimation. So it may be sometime less or more than what is required. Therefore, whatever working capital is calculated, we add some amount as margin of safety. Let us understand by doing this question. From the following information provided by P and Company Limited, prepare a statement showing working capital requirement for the year 2013 and 14. Estimated sales for the 13 and 14 rupees 21 lakh 60,000. Estimated cost structure ratios to selling price raw material 60%, labor 20% and over its 10%. Selling price is rupees 20 per unit. Raw materials remain in stock for two months. This will be part of current asset. Material remain in process for one month. Process means this is information of work in progress current asset. Finished goods remain in stock for one month. The stock of finished goods current asset. Customers are allowed two months credit. This is data's current asset. Suppliers allow one month credit, current liability, creditors. Time lag in payment of wages, one month. This is current liability. Time lag in payment of overheads is half month, current liability. Cash bank balance is expected to be 25% of debtors. This is the new kind of information we have. They are not given directly the amount of cash and bank balance to be kept. They say that cash and bank balance should be kept equal to 25% of debtors. So we have to do calculation of debtors carefully. If calculation of debtors goes wrong, calculation of cash bank also goes wrong. Provide margin of safety. 10%. Daters are to be calculated at selling price. During the manufacturing process, labor and overheads accrue evenly. Margin of safety 10% means we'll be calculating net working capital and then we'll be adding 10% margin of safety to arrive at final net working capital to be arranged for. Safety means here we may estimate lesser working capital. In that case, it may create problem for the business. Therefore, whatever is our estimation, which is based on some probability, which is based on some future expectation, actual situation may be different than what we estimate. So to be on safer side, we provide more 10% so that there should not be any shortfall of working capital for the business. Let us do basic workings. Here they have given selling price rupees 20 per unit. Rupees 20. This we can take as what? 100%. Raw material 60%. Labor 20%. Overheads 10%. 60, 20 and 10. So total cost is 90%. Selling price 100%. So 90% is total cost. So profit is 10%. These calculations will be done on this selling price given rupees 20. So raw material 60% of 20 rupees. Raw material 60% of 20 rupees, that is 12 rupees. Labor 20% of 20 rupees, 4 rupees. Over its 10% of 20 rupees, that is 2 rupees. 
we can add these to get total cost which will be equal to 90% of 20 rupees. So it comes to 18 rupees. Profit is 10%, so it will be 2 rupees. This is how we got cost structure. Here most of the information is given in on monthly basis. And here output is given sales on yearly basis. So we are required to convert all information on monthly basis to calculate working capital correctly. Per month units is equal to per month sales divided by sale price per unit. Sale price per unit is 20 rupees. So 1 lakh 80,000 divided by 20. So it comes to 9,000 units per month. Most of information we got on monthly basis. So we'll calculate monthly cost. Raw material per unit 12 rupees multiplied by per month units 9000 per month raw material requirement 1 lakh 8000 labor 4 rupees per unit per month 9000 units amount 36000 over its 2 rupees per unit multiplied by 9000 units amount 18000 total cost 18 rupees per unit multiplied by 9000 units amount 1 lakh 62000 per month profit 2 rupees 9000 units amount 18,000 selling price 20 rupees units 9,000 per month sales 1 lakh 80,000 let us calculate current assets and current liabilities raw material remain in stock for two months We have already calculated raw material per month requirement is 1 lakh 8000. 1 lakh 8000 multiplied by period. Period is 2 months. So per month raw material 1 lakh 8000 multiplied by 2 months it comes to 2 lakh 16000. This will be part of current asset. Next we will consider work in progress. Material remain in process for one month. Work in progress. So stock of work in progress. We have to take one month. Raw material. Per month. Multiplied by period. Labor. 
पर मंथ मल्टीप्लाइड बाय पीरियड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय फिफ्टी परसेंट ओवर इट्स पर मंथ मल्टीप्लाइड बाय पीरियड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय फिफ्टी परसेंट रॉ मटेरियल पर मंथ वन लैक एट थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय पीरियड वन मंथ सो इट विल बी वन लैक एट थाउजेंड raw material we are required to take complete per month 36000 multiplied by period 1 month here labor and overheads we have to take 50% 18000 overheads per month multiplied by period multiplied by 50% per month overheads 18000 so stock of work in progress 135000 this will be current asset finished goods remain in stock for one month stock of finished goods one month total cost per month multiplied by period total cost per month we have 162000 multiplied by period 1 month so it will be 162000 current asset next we'll calculate debtors customers are allowed 2 months credit and here they have given debtors are to be calculated at sale price पर मंथ सेल्स वन लैक एटी थाउजेंड सेल्स पर मंथ वन लैक एटी थाउजेंड मल्टीप्लाइड बाय पीरियड टू मंथ्स थ्री लैक सिक्सटी थाउजेंड डेटर्स थ्री लैक सिक्सटी थाउजेंड इट विल बी करंट एसेट कैश एंड बैंक बैलेंस इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू बी ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ डेटर्स so cash bank balance is 90000 it will be part of current asset suppliers allow one month credit we can calculate creditors for goods per month raw material 1 lakh 8000 raw material per month 1 lakh 8000 multiplied by credit period 1 month creditors for goods 1 lakh 8000 this will be current liability time lag in payment of wages is 1 month current liability per month wages 36000 wages per month 36000 outstanding for one month multiplied by 1 36000 this will be current liability time lag in payment of overheads is half month current liability over its 18000 18000 per month multiplied by period half so outstanding 
this will be current liability. We have calculated all current assets and required current liabilities. Let us prepare final statement of working capital. Current assets, we have inventories, first item, raw material stock, work in progress stock, finished goods stock. Stock of raw material for two months, we have calculated 2,16,000. Stock of work in progress, including raw material labor over it, we got 1,35,000. Stock of finished goods, we got 1,62,000. Debtors at sale price, we got 3,60,000. Estimated cash bank balance, 25% of debtors we calculated. 90,000 Creditors for goods 1,8,000 Creditors for expenses, wages 36,000, over it's 9,000. Total current assets, gross working capital, we got 9,63,000. Gross working capital 9,63,000. Total current liabilities 1,53,000. We get here 81,000 as net working capital. New point in this question is we are required to add margin of safety 10% to 8,10,000. So 10% of 8,10,000 it comes to 81,000. So estimated working capital to be arranged for 8,91,000. In this question, we have learned how to calculate margin of safety and present estimated net working capital. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda 
एंड सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल इकेडा थैंक यू